what is up guys today we're going to be doing the top five best smartphones uh with a full screen display so no notch or punch hole so let's go ahead and get started with the motorola hyper one uh, so this is a very interesting phone to again a full screen phone from motorola uh, the hardware is a plastic uh, design so it's actually kind of a cheaper phone uh kind of like a mid-range at the 300 price point uh, which is pretty nice i really like the design on here uh, even though it's not made out of glass and metal still looks really nice so you do have an IPS display it is a 6.5 inch so a pretty nice size display it is 1080p 396 for the PPI you have Android 10 on here uh, one thing I really like about Motorola phones is that they usually keep a stock version of Android so you have the Snapdragon 675 and the Adreno 612 so this is a pretty decent gaming phone and like I said you're gonna really enjoy uh, gaming on here as well as just watching content uh, because of the full screen display play uh, you don't have the intrusive notch or punch hole for those of you who uh, are really into that and you just have to have it uh, so you do have a micro SD support with 128 gigs of storage and 4 gigs of RAM uh, you also have some pretty decent cameras from what I've seen uh, so you have a 64 megapixel wide and an 8 megapixel ultra wide it shoots in 4k 30 FPS and then the pop-up camera is a 32 megapixel and that is a 1080p you also have to keep the headphones jack on here which is something i appreciate you also have nfc on board along with the fingerprint scanner on the back it is a physical one and you have a pretty nice 4000 milliamp battery but you get 45 watt fast charging so this thing uh, is blazing fast so it's one of the things i really like i like that you have the stock version of android on here i love that it's a Motorola phone one of my favorite brands uh, so overall this is a really good option to consider Next is the Mi 9T for again 300 bucks. Uh, this is one of my favorite phones. I use it as my daily driver for a minute. Absolutely love this phone. It has actually premium hardware. It's a glass and metal phone, and it's just really nice to hold. It feels like you know a 700, 800 dollar phone. Uh, so you do have again the full screen display, but this one is an AMOLED display, so you get to take advantage of having that always on display. It's a 6.39 inch, uh, 1080p, 403 for the PPI. A beautiful display they did really good uh, with this display it's very high quality and very color accurate uh, something that I really appreciate you do have Android 10 with MIUI 11 uh, the Snapdragon 730 in the Adreno 618 is just fine for gaming and that's one of the focuses uh, with these phones is just uh, media being able to game without a notch or being able to scroll and watch content without you know the notch this phone does not have micro SD support, which is something that I wish it had, but it does have 64 gigs of storage and 6 gigs of RAM. So this phone is pretty snappy um, and MIUI 11 really has all the features that you could really want it's feature packed. Uh, so you do have a 48 megapixel wide and 8 megapixel telephoto and a 13 megapixel ultra wide that shoots in 4K. And you also have the pop up camera that is 20 megapixels. And this takes some really good photos, especially for this price range. I was really impressed uh, with the color accuracy dynamic range uh, it was really good for this price range so no complaints you can get some really great shots uh, out of this camera uh, so you do have the headphone jack on here as well as NFC for your mobile payments the fingerprint scanner is under the display so that's something I really love uh, and it is actually pretty fast I had no issues with the fingerprint scanner with this one you have a 4000 milliamp battery with 18 watt fast charging and it's extremely uh, the battery life is extremely good uh, for this phone you get around eight to nine hours of screen on time I did a battery drain test if you guys want to check that out so even if you're a kind of a power user with the brightness all the way up you can get some really good battery life with this next is the one plus seven pro so this one is a little bit more expensive at 450 but it's really worth it it's the phone that I use every single day it has a beautiful design it's a glass back and aluminum frame feels really nice uh, you have a 6.7 inch display and it just feels like you're holding a screen in your hand because of the curved display on here. It's really, really nice. So it's a 1440p display, 90 hertz for the refresh rate. Basically what that means is that scrolling and uh, stuff like that, it just feels very smooth, uh, you know, as opposed to 60 hertz. Uh, so that's one of the things that kind of made this phone a highlight when it came out. Uh, so you do have Android 10 with the latest Octogen OS, which is, is uh, extremely fast. It's one of the things I really appreciate 
update you get updates uh, very fast uh, with oxygen os uh, so you have the snapdragon 855 and adreno 640 so you can pretty much max any game out that you play on high so you have no issues with gaming on here it's going to be absolutely fantastic uh, with this phone you also have stereo speakers so the experience is going to be really great unfortunately this phone does not have expandable storage but on the base model you get 128 uh, gigs and 6 gigs of ram uh, so you do have some pretty respectable cameras on here a 48 megapixel wide and a megapixel telephoto and a 60 megapixel ultra wide it also shoots in 4k 30 or 60 fps and the pop-up camera is a 16 megapixels uh, as you can see the cameras on here are really good uh, so i have really no issues with the cameras on here uh, this phone does not have a headphone jack which is something i hate but it does not have it uh, you do have nfc for mobile payments the fingerprint scanner is under the display it's one of the fastest uh, that you can get and you have a 4000 milliamp battery with 30 watt fast charging so this phone definitely will last you through a day uh, no problem and it charges very fast Next is the Y9 Prime, so you can find this for around 200 bucks. It's an excellent smartphone if you're, you know, on a budget. Uh, so you have a 6.5 inch display. It's 1080p. Uh, it's, it's one of the bigger ones on this list for this price point. Uh, it's an IPS display, 391 for the PPI. It's a really nice display. Uh, you have a plastic design, but I like the design. It has a two-tone color setup on it, and it feels really nice. Uh, so you do have Android 10 with the Magic UI 2.1. Uh, the Kirin 7. 10f and molly g51 uh, this is not uh, really like a gaming phone where you're going to be maxing stuff out uh, but you will be able to do casual gaming on here uh, no problem and but you know this is really a phone for watching videos and you know kind of like gaming and stuff like that that's what i would have in mind if you're uh, checking this phone out so you do have micro sd support and 64 gigs of storage along with 4 gigs of ram uh, the cameras on here are actually really good for uh, this price point it's a 16 megapixel wide an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel depth sensor but it only shoots in 1080p uh, you do have the pop-up camera uh, that is 60 megapixels that shoots in 1080p as well uh, but the cameras on here are very respectable uh, you do have the headphone jack uh, but you do not have nfc on here so you do not have mobile payments uh, so if you're into that you don't have it uh, you do have a 4000 milliamp battery which will get you some pretty good uh, battery life you can definitely get through the day uh, with this phone no problem so if you're on a budget uh, think of this as the size of the 7 pro um, so it's a really great phone uh, for this price point last on the list is the bold m1 uh, now i will go ahead and add a link for this one uh, when they do uh, come back in stock but uh, you can find them on ebay sometimes uh, but for right now it's for the uh, pandemic that's going on uh, they're really hard to find but this is a good option uh, 6.4 inch display 1080p uh, it's just a really nice phone. It has a glass and metal design. You can find this for around 200 bucks when they finally do come back. And it's an AMOLED display, so it's very unique for this price point. Uh, 403 for the PPI. It's a beautiful display. Uh, you also have Android 10 along with the uh, Helio P70 and the Mali G72 processor. So it's more than capable of gaming. And it's a pretty snappy phone uh, from what I'm seeing. So you do have micro SD support along with 128 gigs of storage, which is really nice for this price, and 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, the cameras on here aren't, uh, they're, they're decent. They're not like the best, but... Uh, if you're in good lighting, you can definitely get a really good photo on here. So you have 16 megapixel uh, standard and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. It is missing the ultra wide, which is something I wish it had. And it only shoots in 1080p. Uh, so you do have the pop-up camera that is 13 megapixels that shoots in 1080p. You do have the headphone jack. And this one does not have NFC as well. But you do have the fingerprint scanner under the display, which is another highlight. Something I really like. It's very fast. Uh, so you do have a 3,500 milliamp battery with 18 watt fast charging. I've been able to get through a day with this phone, no problem. So definitely good for the battery life. So that's pretty much it. Uh, be sure to uh, subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.